Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the SPSS software. Today we will discuss about how you can solve the Poisson distribution in the SPSS software. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me or else simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos. So what we will discuss is that we will discuss how we can solve the Poisson distribution and we will cover all those questions which we have discussed in our last two lectures are there. So let's uh, quickly move on that. So all of you know that uh, in case of the uh, Poisson distribution, the PDF of the Poisson distribution is e raised to power minus lambda upon here, where this is nothing but my mean. So if mean is given to you, then you can use directly. Otherwise, you can use as a NP provided n approaches infinity and P is a very small number. And definitely the product will be a finite value. So now look at that what you want to uh, how you can solve this problem is make sure that whenever you want to solve the SPSS in probability what you can do is you have to firstly write whatever the expression is given to you you have to write look at that this is the add the most so add the most means this is uh, this is less than equal to two. so your target will be at least the add the most are here now you can use this as a PDF or you can use here as a CDF in case of in the SPSS. So if you want to use in terms of the PDF, so remember that PDF is always in the form of the equality. CDF is in the form of the less than equality. So I can write this as x is 0, 1 and 2. So I can write like here. So since this is my equality sign, so what is the meaning of that? This is nothing but my PDF. This is also be the PDF. This is also be the PDF. So now what is given to you, this is nothing but my mean. So that is uh, the parameter lambda is given to you as here. So what you can do is now this zero is my input. This one is also my input and two is also my input. So what you can do is you can simply open your spaces. You can go to the variable view, define a variable say x, make sure that this is a numeric if it is not a numeric you can click on this and then make select of this numeric are there after that you can input these parameters whatever you have the inputs like uh, 0 1 and 2 so you give the inputs as here as a 0 1 and 2 now in order to find the PDF of the Poisson distribution what you can do is you simply go to transform use the compute variable and once you will see here, you, you can see that on the left hand side, there is an option X are there. You can search here as a PDF. So once you will click on this as a PDF and non-central PDF. Now search for here as a PDF Poisson distribution. Now it's alphabetically are there. Now where you can find that this is my, you can scroll down below. So it's alphabetically M N O P like here. So PDF Poisson are there, you can click on here. Now you can see there are the two question marks. The first question mark is defined as the quantity. That is you want to find the PDF at this point X. So you can select this X and replace with the first question mark. Second one is the mean. So in this particular question, what is the mean is my 2.75. You can see the average, the mean are there. So you can substitute here as a 2.35 and you can save your answers as is a ANS. Once you click on the OK, you can see the execute will button there. So you can see the outputs are here. You can increase the decimal places. You can go to the ANS tab. Look at the decimal. You can increase them to be the 5. So this is the way. What is the meaning of that? So the answer of the first part is 0.97 and so on and so on. So what is the final way is that you have to finally add them. How you add them is so in order to make the addition go to analyze descriptive statistics frequency now i want to add this ans you can click on ans on the right hand side and go to the statistics find this as a sum check on the sum box press continue and finally press ok is there now once you will see you can see the answer of this as a 0.58282 that is answer is 0.58282 is the required answer this is the first method. Also the easiest method is you can start with this way. What is that you have to write 
this in form of the CDF. I always recommend this CDF method are there. So what is the CDF is you have to write in the less than or equality form. So you can see this is already a less than equality form. I can write here as a CDF of 2. What is the F is? This is the CDF. Distribution here is my Poisson distribution. What is the 2 is? This is my input. So now you can see how you can solve this with the help of second method is. Now input is only 2. So you can go to here. I can define a say new variable say y and make sure that it's a numeric are there. Now I can define only as an input 2. <coughs> While in the previous scale you can see I have input 0, 1, 2. But uh, in, in case of the CDF there is a need of only 1 R. Now again you can go to transform. Now what you can do is you can go to the uh, say you can go to the transform and then uh, use compute variable. So once you will compute variable you are here and then search for the CDF R there. So that is you can see here you can search you can always reset them now you can search for the cdf and the distribution is my poisson again there are the two question marks the first one is the y because i computed the uh, at point y and the mean is my 2.35 and i can write here as say ens1 so the once you will run now you can see the execute will appears now this is the right answer you can see if you want to increase your decimal places you can see 0 0.58282 this is the same answer as we computed in the PDF 0 0.58282 so you can see the by using the CDF is a is the easiest way you can solve this instead of writing all these values are here also uh, if, if say some if it is given to as this so how you can write that 0 1 2 up to 6 so you have to write all those numbers are there look at this second example which we I uh, which will help you so first is that how you can find the probability so this is exactly 3 so x is equal to 3 more than 2 individuals so I can say this is greater than equal to 2 okay so now this is the equality so what is the meaning of that this is my PDF this is the greater than sign so I can simplify them in terms of less than so I can write here now since in terms of the CDF what you we need this is the equality sign so in order to write this in the equality I can write here as this so therefore this expression is nothing but my f of 1 where this is my CDF this one is my input and here 3 is my input for the first part because this is the equality so there is no need of the CDF so how you can solve this problem is so I can firstly uh, say clear this all these variables and I can clear here so now for the first part what is my input is input is my only 3 so I can write firstly here as a 3 then in order to apply as a uh, as a PDF so I can go quickly on the transform compute variable I can reset them I can search for the PDF and for the uh, PDF of the Poisson distribution here the first variable is my x now you have to look about the mean is the mean is given to you no what is given to you n is my 2000 p is the probability of the bad suffer action is here so therefore since n approaches is very large p is very small so the lambda that is a mean is nothing but my np so i can expression of the np in here directly so this is nothing but my 2000 multiply 0 0.001 also you can write here as a 2000 into 1 is nothing but the 2 so you can write only as a 2 itself so I can write here as say ANS1 so I can press OK so now it's execute here so you will see the output I can increase them again say 5 decimal places 0 0.18045 is the required answer now if in order to write this one so I want to write this expression into this SPSS software so now you can see 1 is my input so I can write here as a 1 I can call as this as say y I can uh, increase the decimal places firstly I can go to the transform again so I can reset it I want a CDF because you can see I need 1 minus CDF so I can write here as a CDF of the Poisson distribution so this is here 
I can write first expression as a y and the mean is my 2000 multiplied 0 0.001 but also we need as a 1 minus expression so I can write here as a 1 minus b. so I can save as a answer of 2 you can see the answer now it's uh, execute are there now you can see the answer is execute so the right answer is my 0.59 I can increase the decimals 0.59399 so you can solve even this with the help of the PDF also. You can write this as x is equal to 0 plus x is equal to 1. You will get the same answer as there. In this case, 0 and 1 is my inputs. Look at the one more example is there. What is given to you? You have to find the probability accident will be less than of the 4, less than of the 4. So strictly less than 4 are there. So in order to solve them with the help of the uh, PDF, or you can solve this with the help of the CDF. So if you want to write in the PDF, so it can be written as a x0 plus x1 plus x2 and plus x3. So this is the expression corresponding to the PDFs are there. So you have to define the x and input the values as 0, 1, 2, 3. But I always prefer in terms of the CDF. How you write in terms of the CDF is I can express this less than 4 since we need the equality so I can write here as less than equal to 3 so it means this is nothing but f of 3 where f is my cdf 3 is my input and now what is that this is average is given to you so it means lambda that is a mean is given to you as a 4 so I need 3 as an input so what you can do is I can clear this screen so 3 I put up as input I want the CDF I can go to transform compute variable I can press the reset click on the CDF I can see the CDF of the uh, Poisson distribution replace the first variable as X now you can see the mean is my 4 so I can replace this quantity as my 4 so I can save this as a CDF of the question number third. So I can press the OK. Now you can see it's execute. So you can see the output as my here. So that is 0 0.4334 is the right answer of this. So you can solve either of the way. So that will be the right answer of this problem. 0 0.43347. Look at the last example. find the probability that at the most five defectives are there so it means your target is to write here so in this case if you want to write in terms of the pdf or the cdf what you can do if you write in the pdf form so you have to write in terms of the x0 1 2 3 4 5 and then finally whatever the result you get you will finally add otherwise in terms of the cdf how you write that this is nothing but my f of 5 where 5 is my input and f is my cdf so how, how you can so i can put input as a 5 say i can define the new variable say y is a numeric so i can say input as my 5 now i want to use the cdf transform compute i can press the reset of here now the first variable is my input y now what is the mean are there so you can see maximum is my 200 volts what is the probability is that 2 percent is that is a 0 0.02 so n is very large p is small so that is a lambda that is a mean is nothing but my n into p so you can multiply them it will be a 4 but there is no need of multiply because if sometimes the probability is my 11 by 37 so it's not be easy to multiply and divide them so i can write his as 200 is my n uh, is uh, 200 multiplied by probability is 0 0.02 so I can save is as answer is AA again you can see there is no need of the 1 minus and something so I can save is as AA I can press OK and you can see there is a execute is there so it means there is no error and uh, you can see the answer as up to the 5 places is 
seven eight five one three is the right answer of this problem. So you can solve it manually. You can solve it by using the PDF. You will get the same answer in each of the ways. So remember that you have to go to transform and the compute variables. So uh, look at this last example are there. So what is you can easily solve that. So what is given to you that you have to find at least three extents are there. So how you write them in terms of the CDF is I can write this as of here or I can write this as less than equal to two means one minus f of two. So you have to use this as a uh, parameter two is my input and f is my CDF of the Poisson distribution. So what is the lambda of this? So you can see uh, 10 extent took place in the 50 days. So what is the average extent took place in that? This is a point 0.2. So I can use this expression as, so you can substitute, you can write here as a CDF Poisson distribution. I can save this two as a X variable. Mean is nothing but my point 0.2. I can subtract one minus, you will get the required answer. as. So you can do it and let me know the answers in the comment box. We will see in the next class how we can find the geometry distributions in the SPSS. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.